Alright, hello there YouTube. So today I'm going to show you in this part 3 of the VRChat avatar rigging um, alpha maps. So any avatar that you may have that uses alpha maps, uh, this is basically going to show you how to apply the mask to the hair texture. Uh, specifically we are working with Jake Park from Dead by Daylight and his hair. Uh, his hair shares the same texture file as Dwight from the game. So that's why you'll see Dwight Fairfield hair 01 and Dwight Fairfield alpha map. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to assume that you have some sort of uh, photo editing program like Photoshop or GIMP. Specifically, I'm going to show you the Photoshop method. Unfortunately, I don't know how to use GIMP. I've never really used it. I don't know any other photo editing programs out there, but I'm assuming they're going to be the same um, as what I'm about to show you. Uh, this may be a sloppy way of applying the alpha map to the texture, but this is the way that I've learned it, and hopefully this is going to be simple for you. So go ahead and open up Photoshop um, and up, go ahead and grab the texture file and drag it into Photoshop. And next, you want to drag the alpha map and apply it to the texture file and hit the checkbox. And then next, what you want to do is for the background, go ahead and hit com, uh, Control J. And this is going to duplicate the background. And then select your alpha map, go into channels click on alpha 1 actually alpha 1 should not even be there click on blue and you're gonna basically select uh, add a selection and then what you're gonna do is add a new layer a new alpha layer go into image adjustments levels and this black little triangle you're gonna bring this all the way to the right and as you'll notice the hair will start to appear in the picture. So now go into layers, click on background copy, and hit add new layer mask. And now we have successfully added our mask to the hair, and we can delete the alpha map that's in here. Now all you have to do is hit file, save as, uh, target, desktop, and just go ahead and replace the original texture file. <laughs> and you are done. You no longer need Photoshop or whatever program that you're using. So we can go ahead and hit close and we do not need to save this. <clears throat> we also do not need the hair alpha map anymore either so we can go ahead and delete that as well. Now we're going to go into Unity and here's our Jake Park and you'll notice his hair is not textured and it's very blocky. <clears throat> so you're going to go ahead and grab the hair texture file and you're going to put that right into your textures folder for your campers and then we're going to go into our materials folder and here's our hair so I will put a link in the description below for the shader the hair shader that I've been given a friend of mine on Steam give it gave it to me it's a two-sided shader this is very useful for hair shaders um, because you know as you'll know it you know well okay so for hair it's kind of hard to explain so companies or developers they like to put backface culling on their hair because it um, if we were to say add a whole entire mesh to this hair it would very much increase the polygons on the hair and decrease system performance and we don't want that so the option that they have is just put backface culling on it and have this a two-sided um, texture so it reduces the performance or it increases the performance on systems by just um, showing it all as just one whole texture on both sides so like i said you'll see backface cooling at its finest by if i move the camera you'll see that the hair starts deleting itself like it almost eats itself and it reappears if we go to a, from a different angle that's because from up underneath the hair like i said is there's backface cooling enabled like I said, if you aren't somebody that's um, so worried about system performance or your own or other people's, you could always just uh, in Blender the hair texture or the hair mesh, sorry. You could always just solidify this. Um, but like I said, it's going to give you a crazy number of polygons that, you'll, that are unnecessary and you don't want. So what we're going to set this to is the shader that I'm going to put in the link in the description. And it's called Standard Two-Sided. And as you can see, now we have a lot more hair showing up here. <clears throat> And what we're going to do next is we're going to select our hair. So um, DF, I think it's DF, I'm oh, sorry, I think it's T, DF. Okay, there it is, there's our hair uh, with our hair selected. Um, you know, actually, I also think I had to set this to a specific 
think it was cut out. Yep, there we go. So you want to make sure that the rendering mode is also set to cut out. And you'll see that this alpha cutoff right here, you can play with this as much as you'd like. I think his hair is kind of about like that. Yeah, I don't want to set it to that. You can mess with the smoothness too to give it more of a sheen, but in this avatar it doesn't really look like it helps very much. So we're just going to turn that all the way down. And there you have it. Now your uh, hair texture file is properly added to Jake Park, and there's no back face culling issues. If we look up underneath his hair, it sh appears in both directions. So hopefully that was pretty quick and easy and not too painful uh, for the hair alphas. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a link or a uh, comment in the description below, and I will definitely get to you as uh, best I can.